Hello, hello everyone, it's Charlotte here. Come on in, welcome to my home. Well, now I think I know why I don't do ephemera first. This is what I have, my three signatures. There's no way, there's just no way. So now, instead of one journal, I'm gonna have three, yep. And I've done away with the idea of a hard cover journal and I am going to go with three soft cover journals. I just, the, they're also, all of these are beautiful, just beautiful. And so um, I'm gonna show you what we have so far and then um, we're gonna move on to something else, but um, I've gotta get my fabric together and figure out my covers. Then I'll have a final share before I list them. So this is, unless I change the signatures at all, and I can't imagine that I would, this is um, one of them. This was the first one that I started on, and here was that claw paper, that old vintage paper. We've got vintage paper there. And then I ended up putting this tag here in this um, in that spot and then here we have a spot that needs a tag and I kept a couple this is what I was thinking about doing with the belly band but I think instead of that we will just put some tags in there and then we have this here um, I'm still going to do something with this. I just don't know what yet. Then we have this pocket that we created with this tag. And we have one of the um, envelopes that we created. And I put it in that tuck. Then we've got this fold out here with a... I'm not sure I'm in frame with a um, little bit of writing ephemera. And I might put um, something on here. But for the most part, the, this is set up the way that I want it. We've got this tag here inside of this um, pocket. And it goes in that tuck. And then we have a pocket here and a tag. There's our German paper. I went ahead and put a um, one of these window cards and then put this in there and just used it as a tuck. I mean, it could be moved around anywhere you wanted it. Here is that coloring paper. And I added some medieval mirage paper to that. So that flips out. And here is the center. And then we have on here is a, um, this was a, this is a pocket with a tag. And then this flipped out and it gave you journal space. So that was cute. I left this open thinking whoever um, purchases this, you can just put a little bit of glue there and create a pocket if you want, or you could put glue here and create a pocket off to the side, but I'm gonna leave that like that. Here is one of the envelopes and there are tags inside of the envelope. Then we have this, if you remember when we made this journal card. And then we had this one here, and this opens up. I think this is three, so you could rotate the uh, picture in the window. And then here's an envelope on that side of the tag. Here is a, a journal tag, journal card that I just put um, on the side of the page like that. And so here is, I'm calling this Signature One. And you can see that's pretty big, absolutely beautiful. And then 
this journal card ended up being too big to actually go in the journal. And so I'm going to send it, I think, I think signature three is the smallest and I'm gonna put that journal card with signature three. It's just gonna go like an add on. So here is signature two and it will be journal two. And here is another journal card. It's got some vintage paper in it, that tag there. Here's a tag here and this comes out in the other side. I just used it. This opens up so you've got journal space. Just used, wanted to use that like a tuck. And then I was watching Corey. Corey does, I will have Corey's YouTube channel in the description box. She does a lot of um, embellishing with scraps and she makes a lot of stuff out of scraps and she does scrap collages. And this was, um, I had gotten this from, from her and I put a lot of these in the, the next two signatures, but um, you can use that as a tuck if you like. As a matter of fact, I think I'll just leave that there because I like that. With vintage paper. And this is where I decided to put one of our snippets. This is a, a little flip out with a tag in it. And on this, there's a tuck with another little envelope. Is it a tuck? No, it's a pocket. Okay, that has a pocket. And then um, this is some cool paper. I think it might kind of be in the parchment family, but I'm not positive. And I did the same thing here. I left this, but this could easily be glued so that you could have a pocket there. And then we've got a pocket here. Here is another one of the, the uh, Cory um, collage, scrap collage pieces with a um, pocket on the back of this. And this is where I put this um, Falcon tag and then it's got a tag inside. So that just fits right in there like that. And we have a uh, journal card here. That's what that is. And then we've got one of these uh, window cards there. And here is the center. There's a castle in the center of all of these. And then here is another one of the Cory um, collage, paper collages. And I use my bits of fabric that I had used on the edges of the journal cards. And this is a journal card here. And then here is another one of these um, tucks. Here is, here is another one of the scrap collages, but this one I um, glued the whole thing down. This one I did not. This one I used as a tuck. And then um, if you remember, we did this together, this journal card with this snippet here. Here is the other side of that. And um, here is another scrap tuck and another journal card. This um, particular signature has got a lot of the journal cards in it. And then I did the same thing with this paper. You can glue that down for a pocket if you want. And here is the back of that. So I am calling this signature two. And this will um, be a journal all its own. And you can see, I mean, that's, there's a lot going on here. So I don't know how I ever thought, Jarf's kits are so big, I don't know how in the world I ever thought I was gonna create a journal using, one journal using all of this. Because this is the smallest, and look at it. It's huge. So this will be journal three. And here we go with one of those uh, scrappy collage tucks. Old book page. And I'll put something in here. I haven't yet, but it will have something in there. Here is a journal card. I think you can remember we did all of these online together. 
Uh, here's one of the finished snippets and it's got some uh, slow stitching and one of the cute little tags. I uh, ended up taking this piece and attaching it to this so it opens up like that. I just thought it's so pretty, especially, especially um, opposite the owl. Vintage paper. Here is a tag in a... Um, Okay, this is like a journal card that opens up. If you remember, if you remember when we did this, and that could be used as a tuck as well. A uh, vintage bird page that I found. This is tea dyed papers. Here is one of the other little um, snippets that I used, and uh, I had found the word soar, so I put that on there. Here is the castle in the center and another one of the Cory tucks. And I will put something in that. A window card. And a journal card. This one has a tag in it. Um, I will do a complete flip through of these when I am finished and they've got their covers on. Here is another snippet. Just thought it looked perfect there. And writing paper, vintage paper, and here is the last little um, collage tag that I made with a piece of the fabric. And then with this one, because this is the smaller one, I am going to, if you remember when we created this journal card, we've got that tag that fits in this window. It's got the acetate and you can write on this side. And then uh, we've got this side here and there is another tag here. Just really pretty, guys. It's just pretty. Um, let me, I don't know, I don't think it will fit. I think when the cover is on, it can probably slip in like that and just, it'll fit that way. But um, this one, because this is the smallest, and it's not really that small when you see it, but it's the smallest of the three, so this is going to go in with this. So. Tell ya. Um, yeah, and then in the mail, just really quick, I got the, um, this is Bottle bobble, Bobbles, and this is going to be a giveaway. It's got a tiny, tiny little heart there. It's so cute. A heart there, and it's got like a little letter there, and then these pearls. So this is for the inside of your glue. And I just have to figure out how I'm going to do this, but I think it'll make a really, really cute giveaway. So I'm not gonna open it. The person that receives it can open it. But uh, I will put the link to uh, Bottle Bobbles um, in the description box too, but she's on Etsy, Bottle Bobbles. So that is the news, guys, and um, I am working on my um, May surprise boxes. I am behind. Um, since I, since I uh, showed in the last video what the surprises were, I've got one left. Two are spoken for. So if you want what it is, just as a quick reminder, it is this journal envelope with some ephemera in it and then the, this tag book this has got ephemera in it as well so if you are interested in this at all there are uh, there's one left and then it comes with a tea bag of just some just some little supplies for you to be able to use. So guys, this is my uh, video for today. I will be back hopefully tomorrow. Everybody have a really, really great day. Stay safe and thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And be sure to check out Corey's YouTube channel 
don't miss that because she does some really, really great things using up all your scraps. We're never going to want to throw anything away again. She had me going in my trash bin. Uh, if you see this here, see this? I'm going to be pulling most of this out and using it. So yeah, there you go. You'll probably end up doing the same thing when you watch her, watch her videos. So take care, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye now.